I now move on to doubly weak verbs that have a noon in the first position and a hey in the third position. And uh, this one is going to be interesting uh, because you'll get assimilation of the noon and you'll sometimes lose your hey. So, for example, with the uh, perfect, uh, the perfect is uh, pretty much regular, but when you get to the imperfect, uh, the third masculine singular, uh, uh, nata means to extend, and the imperfect would be uh, yite, and uh, you the noon will assimilate and show up as a dog h in all these forms. Now, when it really gets fun is when you get to the uh, bob consecutive and the jussive, because the noon is assimilated, but the jussive uh, bob, con bob consecutive form is a shortened form, as well as the jussive form being a shortened form. So you're going to lose the hay, but you lose the vowel, and therefore you lose your gemination, your doubling, and you're going to get by, uh, by yate, or in the jussive, yate. And you're going to have to figure out from those forms that the root is noon tet Hey, even though you don't see a noon, not even the dog H of, of what used to be a noon, or a hey, they're both gone. And so that makes uh, uh, that particular form uh, very tricky to, uh, uh, to figure out. Uh, the imperative form is about what you'd expect with the nate, uh, and the infinitive construct uh, follows the third hey type with the uh, natote. But uh, the most tricky thing about this form is uh, the very short just of uh, yate that has only one of the three letter consonants, the root, that actually show up. Uh, hyphial forms uh, are, is illustrated by a very common verb, naka, uh, to attack or to strike, or um, King James uh, to, to smite. Uh, but uh, the noon, as you would expect, is going to uh, assimilate, uh, and the hay will behave like a third hay. So he uh, attacked would be uh, hika, where all you see of the noon is the assimilated uh, uh, dagesh uh, of the noon uh, in the cough. And then the imperfect would be uh, yake. But again, when you get to the Vav consecutive, it really shortens up. You lose your Sigol hey, what, what is left behaves uh, kind of like a Sigolit, and you get uh, Vayak. And so there's no noon, there's no hey, and you just have to figure out that the root of that is Naka uh, to smite. And since it's a pretty common form, uh, after a while you learn to recognize those things. And if you have the Lagos Hebrew Bible, you can right-click on it and it'll tell you what the root is and uh, take you to the dictionary form uh, if you're unsure. But anyway, uh, that's the jussive, the coordinative, uh, being a third hey, doesn't have a distinctive coordinative form. It ends up being a, a segol hey. Uh, there's a longer and shorter form of the imperative, either hake or just hak. Uh, and then... Uh, the uh, infinitive uh, construct has an ot ending, hakot, and the infinitive absolute has a sere he ending, uh, hake, and that's uh, uh, the first noon and third he's. I move on to uh, first vav and third he verbs. Uh, and there's a number of verbs that can have a vav uh, both in the uh, uh, first position, will, which will show up as a yod, original first vavs show up as a yod, uh, and also have a, a he in the third position. Example of that is the root uh, yara, uh, which uh, in the hyphial means to show or to point or to teach. Perfect would be uh, hora, uh, he taught or he uh, instructed or pointed out or whatever. And then, uh, uh, but but anyway, because of the first 
uh, original first vav, you get a whole vav as the vowel on, in the perfect. And then uh, the hey uh, shows up, but it'll disappear in uh, a lot of the forms and become a yod. And then uh, yore uh, would be the imperfect. He will instruct. Um, and then the vav consecutive, you lose your hey and you get a shortened form uh, by, by your. Joseph, let him instruct, would be your. Uh, and uh, the coordinative, uh, I will or let me instruct, is uh, ho re. Uh, imperative, uh, ho re with a sere. A participle, more uh, a teacher, a male teacher. And then uh, infinitive construct has the oat ending, as third haze uh, tend to do. Uh, and uh, I don't know why he wrote that twice, but uh, uh, for some reason he does. And then the infinitive absolute is uh, whole ray. But anyway, the whole involve appears throughout, indicated that the verb is a hyphial form of a first bob verb. And even the accompanied uh, uh, preterite and justive forms may be analyzed according to this pattern. So your has a prefix yo to the imperfect. The whole involve is the uh, first bob verb uh, in the hyphial pattern uh, represented by the first letter yod. And the second letter resh is the only letter that uh, could be missing then would be the final hey. Vocabulary is going to give you a lot of uh, these doubly weak verbs now to learn. Uh, haya, to be, or to come to pass, or to happen. Uh, we've had the vayahi thing uh, previously given. Uh, now uh, we have the rest of the forms of haya. Uh, again, the imperfect is yihiye, the justive is yahi. And then you have the... Uh, Hara to conceive, to be pregnant, and he gives you the Vav consecutive form. And then uh, Haya to live, uh, to exist. Po means to make alive or uh, uh, restore alive, allow to live in some cases. And then uh, Hara to burn, to be kindled, or to be angry. And again, it gives you the imperfect form and the shortened preterite uh, form in the Bob consecutive. Um, and uh, it's used idiomatically if you want to say that uh, someone is angry. What you would say is, uh, Hayalo, uh, it is hot to him, or uh, what it means, uh, he is uh, angry. Nata means to extend, stretch out, spread out. Uh, imperfect form uh, would have the uh, assimilated noon. Uh, but then the justive form, you lose everything except the middle consonant of the root. Uh, Naka, uh, to attack, strike, or uh, King James, smite. Uh, it doesn't appear in the cow. Allah, to go up, to ascend. Uh, it's used in the hyphial of uh, uh, animal sacrifices, causing them to go up in the sense of burning them up in smoke, uh, especially the burn offering, uh, which is the ola. Uh, and then ana, uh, to answer, to testify, in some cases to sing. And again, uh, the imperfect form, the short and justive form. Uh, the peel can mean to afflict or oppress. And uh, these may be uh, homonyms rather than the same root, uh, since the meeting afflict and oppress and answer and testify don't seem to have a, a lot in, uh, in common. Uh, and then you have asa, uh, to work, to do, to make. Uh, again, the imperfect form where you uh, first get a results in a hata pata, and then the shortened adjustive form. Gives you a number of nouns. Haya, a living thing, an animal. Related to haya, the verb that we just had up here, uh, which means to live. And so this is a noun form, feminine noun, uh, based on that. 
and then uh, you have uh, a noun based on the root uh, asa. So if you go back to uh, asa to work, do, or make, uh, prefix mem is one of the noun formation types, uh, and it is uh, something done, a deed, a work. And then uh, ivri is the word for Hebrew, uh, named after Aver, one of the ancestors of Abraham. And then Ola, burnt offering, either fill, spelled uh, uh, plain A with a hole and bob or defectively without the vav. Uh, but it's a burnt offering, but it's related to, uh, again, Allah to go up. Uh, so again, the burnt offering is the one that goes up completely in smoke. And then uh, noun form, uh, regal is a foot. And uh, uh, you can also get uh, a pair of feet, uh, raglayim, the dual form, will uh, show up uh, quite often. And then finally, uh, you get another couple of forms, a uh, uh, couple of spellings of the same form, really, of uh, the word first, former, or chief. It's related to Rosh, uh, head, and uh, the form with the olive, you can see the Rosh as uh, part of the word. Uh, but the vow uh, vowels, the olive quiesces, and you get Rish Rishon, and sometimes the olive just completely disappears, uh, Rishon. Uh, but it's an adjective meaning first, former, or chief related to uh, head. So uh, you'll get to play with this by translating some of these forms in exercise 37.7. Uh, and uh, then you uh, start uh, translating. Uh, you have a verse in Genesis and... Uh, verse in Psalms, and a verse in uh, Exodus. And then a third section, he gives you a, uh, a chunk of material, all from Deuteronomy uh, chapter 8. And so that's uh, uh, the introduction to uh, lesson 37. The hit wrote.